Welcome back to RDR2. Let's see what uh, this is all about. Why is that? Why is that glowing? How are you? How are you? Right, so I can't basically pick up anything else from there. <coughs> Rob Stagecoach. Do I? Do I really want to rob the stagecoach? What's this one that's uh... Okay. For a man of the cloth, you have quite a way with words. Words are the very least of my problems. The very least. I'm sure. Ah, uh, oh, screw it. Let's just start this one. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well... <coughs> However it goes, I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. That's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man in Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The address, I mean, I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the Adjusco boys on the road in the town. Things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner type. <coughs> anyway, yeah, right. somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things. Like gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. It's a trap. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You've got to take it. I killed Combs' brother. Long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Hmm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Uh, fine. Mount up then, Morgan. Where's my weapons? Let's go then. Oh boy. <clears throat> Don't need to be an expert to know that you this know, is definitely a trap. I've been fighting calm for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. You're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan H. Sauron? Well, uh, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater? And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then it, who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head? Hmm? Can we really afford 
to be fighting on all these fronts. And O'Driscoll. There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den. With you to <laughs> the Okay, just keep calm. I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. You are walking into hell itself. can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterward. We'll be there, partner. Do know that I get knocked out and so on. Hello, Dutch. It's been a while. <coughs> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. <laughs> how's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, this is a charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. 
Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. Y'all always love the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella Colum's right, we can draw them all back. True. Where'd Colum and Pat? He's escaping! Shoot him! Relax! Relax! I got it! I got it! Did I kill you? Oh, yeah! <laughs> I can't get off that person. I'm the first person. Interesting, still a first person scenario. <coughs> You can swing on your shackles to reach the metal fall that can be why is it also Oh, 
was fast. <coughs> You mean that's what you're supposed to do? To tap it, not hold it. Hold on, be back in a minute. What the hell? Anything on that table? No. Nothing. What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man; it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. You better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of me. Shit, I'm supposed to get, get to my horse. Dead man. There's no way I'll, uh, there's no way I'll be able to get through this. Get to his 
sure whether I'll be able to make it or not, but certainly give it a try. <coughs> and uh, I'm going in the wrong direction now. Tell me about it. There's no way I'm not going to be able to make it if this is the case. Holy shit, I think I made it. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. You're safe now. That's pretty. That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. Care of yourself. Me too. Well, that's only a one weird mission. Um. <clears throat> Alrighty, shall stop this video for now, and I'll see you on the next one.